I have been asked this question multiple times and especially because few of the reels went extra popular and uh, most of them were talking about extreme regimens to study mostly and uh, don't blame me i did not make those reels or videos popular you guys did <laughs> and and i talked about multiple things for example i also talked about sleeping for solid eight hours and about sleep cycle but 20 million people decided to watch four hours sleep cycle <laughs> so don't blame me but uh, when uh, that kind of video went popular or viral i started to uh, become known for that and then people automatically ask simple questions like don't you have friends how do you study that much how did you spend so much time in the library and the truth is that when i was in college i really was like that like i used to get up work out have a lean clean breakfast and then run to the library that's it and that's where i would be staying for the next four hours until i would go for a lunch and then continue the same thing first of all that was a sunday okay or some festival holiday something like that if there was a class i would go to a class and uh, i followed a very similar kind of routine when i was in what we call barc training school getting a degree in nuclear science and engineering also a prior training for joining department of atomic energy as a scientific officer uh, that inspired this book the boy who did not sign and people who read this book they also saw the extreme routine and uh, then people asked like hey don't you have friends bro and uh, to be completely clear right now i don't follow the same thing okay and i have talked about that as i move forward in my life i'm currently in a relationship i spend a good amount of time over there i have friends i have a family and uh, i'm pretty normal these days but uh, that only thing is that now i have uh, learned how to balance that uh, but i think it is very important for you to first uh, be okay with the isolation uh, be okay with being alone and putting and investing time on yourself so uh, that would be like five years of my life since i turned 18 that is one year no actually it is six years of my life so that is four years of undergraduation one year in delhi coachings and then one year in bic training school so i have done this extreme routine for six years and uh, did i have friends at that time yes to be completely honest i did if you read this book a huge part of this book is about friendship and you might not see that in the first few chapters but as you move along to i think nine chapter or ten chapter you'll start to see that essence and i still remember one of the lines from the book is that i was never good at making friends and because of that i was really good at making good friends something along the way and the whole idea is that I did used to um, spend time with the boys and uh, I, I always was, until I turned 18, a very mediocre to below average student until I was in school. And so obviously most of my time went with friends. And so I still had that mindset when I got into college and I wanted to have friends. But the only thing is that now I had to limit the amount of time I spend with friends because it was quite obvious. I have not studied much for 18 years. If I have to excel in academic career, if I have to become a good engineer, then I have to spend a lot of time studying books, spending time in library. It was abundantly clear. And so I was abundantly clear with my friends. And I had friends over time. I still am connected with my friends in college, with my friends in Bark, with my friends in Israel. I talk to them every now and then and uh, I developed that. But at every stage of my life, whether it was in college or in coaching institute or in Bark or in Israel, I was always very abundantly clear with my friends. Like, look, man, I need to put a good amount of time into what I'm doing right now. And I can't spend time with you guys going out on the weekends or celebrating this particular guy's birthday. I can't do that. And they understood it and they respected it. 
And you know what? You are afraid to do that because you think that if you are that clear with your friends about your motivations towards study or whatever goal you have, you're going to lose friends. And I understand this because that's what I did in the first couple of semesters. I still remember that I had set my mind to bring my GPA up in the college and I used to study in my room. At that time, I had not found out the beautiful place library is. So I used to study in my room whenever I was alone, right? I remember uh, whenever someone would knock on my door, I would hide my books and pretend to watch movies. And then I said, oh, I was not studying. No, what are you talking about, right? So it's clearly, uh, I was clearly hiding the fact that I was studying. And that's again, because people will think that I'm not cool. And that's what a lot of you think as well. It's kind of cool to not study in a place where you pay for your education. I do not know how it happened, but somehow college where you pay a lot of money for your education is also a place where it is cool not to study. All right. So there's nothing cool about an unemployed engineer or an unemployed graduate. Let me tell you that. So over time, I kind of started to realize that, okay, people really don't care much. And if you tell them that this is my goal and I want to work hard for it, they actually a lot of times help you and support you. A lot of times they're motivated themselves. A lot of times they admire you that you have decided to put a good amount of time. I never saw any of my friends complaining about it. They all knew that I'm not, I'm not going to uh, spend time with them on the weekends. I'm not going to go on long trips with them. They all knew that. And a lot of times, like past the second year and all, they never invited me. Like They knew the answer is going to be no. I'm just going to read uh, a few statements from this book because this is exactly what I've written over here. Let me see. Was that I was right before the placement. So I would say it is in um rebellion right before that what was that the price we pay okay so the price we pay shows the placements of uh, scar academy and that also shows a flashback of placements of my undergraduation seventh semester okay so that you see the cycle happening all right so we are talking about page 201 chapter 9 the price we pay and uh, ashwin is uh, sitting with his close friend akash and uh, Akash says that you want to go to gang talk this weekend? Ashwin says that, nah, man, you know, I can't. Gate is coming close. And he says that, hmm, I get it. Others told me that it's kind of useless asking you. Ashwin says that, how come they know me better than you do? So there goes like few dialogue exchanges. And uh, ultimately, the point is that most people at this point have even stopped inviting him, not because they hate him not because they don't like him it's mostly because they know the answer is going to be no and if you read other parts of what is ait ait is mostly like inspired from my uh, college days uh, you'll see that people actually like ashwin because ashwin is that guy who was bottomer till uh, until senior secondary and now he has decided to become a topper so from the mindset he's always that backbencher so he is always going to enjoy more being with those people who are at backbench. He enjoys their company, but he also spends a lot of time studying. And uh, so one day before the semester examination, he's the guy you go to. And so he helps them out and he's close friends with them, but his friends also understand him very well. So that's the way it went always like from the point i think second year or third year i stopped hiding that fact i was clear and open about it that this is what i'm doing deal with it and they dealt with it very well and that's something that was kind of eye-opening and from then i always did that i think you should try to do that as well there's nothing cool in having no ambitions and wasting time people will respect you much more if you let them clearly know that this is what you want to do. If you're really 
putting good amount of time and effort towards what you want to do, you cannot hide it. If you're able to hide it, you're not doing enough. Simple as that. And it is very possible to have friends. It's just that your definition of friendship is kind of different than mine. Friendship does not mean that you're sharing every tiny detail, spending six hours a day with those people. It's a lot of time means that you're talking to them when you want to talk to them. And, and they're there if you want their help. You're there if they need your help. And that's as simple as that. That's, that's at least the way that I always looked towards friendship past the point where i attained some amount of maturity let me know what you think let me know if i if you think that i'm stupid let me know if you want to implement it down in the comment section i'm going to end this video over here uh, you can get this book on amazon flipkart uh, you can get the ebook you can get the paperback all the links down in the description box see you in the next one till then Bye.